Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Love by Chitra Story and today we're gonna root and install the TWRP custom recovery on the Moto G4 Plus and before we start I would like to give a huge shout out to my friend who has just joined the YouTube a month or two ago so he's a travel vlogger and the name of his channel is the Ranchian Traveler and a link to his channel will be right over here and please do check out his channel once again the name of his channel is the Ranchian Traveler so now we're gonna get into the routing process and the installing TWRP so first of all what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in, in settings and we're gonna go down and we're gonna go in about device and we're gonna tap on the build number until you have your now developer we're gonna go in developer option we're gonna unlock the oem unlocking and we're gonna also enable the usb debugging so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off our device power it off once it has been turned off we're just gonna press volume down key and the power key at the same time and as it is in this fast boot recovery we're gonna connect this to our PC and now we're gonna go into the PC so you need these files over here in this so first of all what we're gonna do is we're gonna extract this over here so what you're gonna do is you're gonna first of all rename this over here and you're gonna let it be TWRP IMG over here and you're gonna go in address bar and you're gonna write in CMD and what it does it it will open a command prompt at this directory and we're gonna type in a command that will also be in down in the description uh, that is mfast boot flash recovery twrp dot img and if it doesn't work for you you can remove the dot img and run the command and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down now in this in this recovery mode until you see the recovery mode and you're gonna press power key and it will boot into the custom recovery now and you're gonna swipe to allow modifications now you're gonna go and install and you're gonna go down and you're gonna select this elemental x d4 and we're gonna swipe to confirm flash and now you're gonna go next and you're gonna agree to this next and it will give you a notice you're gonna select next and you're gonna uh, go with the stock or you can overclock or underclock i would like to go with the stock cpu performance and you can select the navigation bar area to phone to sleep so i'm gonna disable it you can select whatever you want and i don't want the fingerprint sensor to act as a home button and we're gonna select next and we're gonna install the elemental x and we're gonna press next finish and we're gonna go back and we're gonna select the sr3 super su version 2.79 and we're gonna swipe to confirm flash it does say that the first reboot may take some time and it may boot loop a few times so we're just gonna reboot the device now and we're gonna install the twrp app it is up to you if you want to install the TWRP app or not so the device just booted up and we're gonna go in and as you can see we have the super zoo over here and new user And as you can see the device is rooted and let's go into the uh, settings once again and show you that the android version is 7.0 so i think that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the video and don't forget to uh, check out my friend's channel the Arantian traveler and thanks for watching guys